one of my previous videos, I did mention that I'm going to show you how to expand in an efficient way when you're expanding two terms. Okay, now this is called a binomial expansion theorem. Now, most of you uh, should know uh, how to expand a plus b squared. Okay, that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But if it comes to a plus b to the power 7, you can do it by the normal way you have to expand this, or you have to put this 7 times and expand, because that will be huge expansion. There is a smarter way if we know the expansion, binomial expansion theorem. To explain that, we are going to do a process called uh, pattern matching. So let us start with 0. If it is a plus b to the power 0, any number, if a and b are numbers, any number to the power 0 is 1. Okay. okay. Now if it is a plus b to the power 1, it will be a plus b. Okay. If it is a plus b squared, it is a plus b times a plus b, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. You can see a times a is a squared, a times b, then b times a, which is ab plus ab, which is 2ab. This is pretty easy. Okay, now when it comes to a plus b cube, you do the same process. You write this three times. Now this we already know is this. And then when you expand with a plus b, I'll go over it slowly. Okay, so what, what have we got? a times a squared is a cube. a times 2ab is 2a squared b. a times b squared is ab squared. Now expanding with b, b times a squared, writing in the alphabetic order. Can you see why I've written this? a squared b, b times 2ab is 2ab squared, plus b times b squared is b cubed. So what happens now? So that simplifies to a plus b cubed is a cubed. This becomes 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. We'll do one more expansion. This is a plus b, the whole uh, to the power 4 is a plus b squared plus a plus b squared. Now we already know a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So using that, I can write that's a, this is this and this is this. Okay, now it's a long process, so let me go over it a squared times a squared is a to the power 4, a squared times 2ab is 2a cubed b, a squared times b squared is a squared b squared. Now expanding with 2ab, 2ab times a squared is 2a cubed b, 2ab times 2ab is 4a squared b squared, and 2ab times b squared is 2a b cubed. And finally with b squared, so it's a squared b squared, I hope you can see this. Now line this up so that they are like terms together. So our life becomes easier. So this simplifies to a cube plus 4a cube b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4a cube. Now I wanted to look at, this is something that all of you can do. Okay, so let me remove the screen. I wanted to look at these numbers. So I'm going to put some numbers here just before the so this I can write a 1, the 1, the coefficient of a is 1, the coefficient of a is 1. Okay, now for this, for squared, this is 1, 2, 1. I'll show you why I'm writing this later. This is 1, 3, 3, 1. And this is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now, there's a famous triangle called the Pascal Triangle. Now, Pascal was, a, uh, I think, a French mathematician who saw a pattern in these numbers, and he came up with a triangle. Now, I googled this. So, this is the Pascal Triangle. So, what did he say? This is, look at the numbers. I'll give you one minute for you to look at the numbers. It's a very interesting pattern, okay? So I hope you can see you got 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and so on. You can make up this triangle very easily. So you start with 1, and you 
this is a pyramid so the top is one then you got one and one then to get this two you add this two so one plus one is two always start with one okay so one 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 the end blocks will have one so one how did you get this two one plus one is two how did you get this three one plus two is three two plus one is three last one again one one plus three is four three plus three is six three plus one is four and a one how do you get a five it's five four plus one plus four is five four plus six is ten six plus four is ten four plus one is five and so on so this is this is if it is you can say this is to the power zero so let me write the power zero here if it's for zero you have got one if it this is the first power this is the second power this is the third power this is the fourth power fifth power sixth power seventh power so if you want to use if you know this triangle you can make up this triangle if i want to write say a plus b to the power seven okay so only look at this so i can just looking at this i can say it should be a to the power seven plus seven okay now before that i'll have to explain now what's happening to the power of a the power of a is suppose this i can write as 1a squared plus 2a to the power 1 b to the power no sorry i want to write like this i want to write this like this can i write this like this 1a to the power 2 b to the power 0 plus 2a to the power 1 b to the power 1 plus 1 a to the power 0 b to the power 1 the same thing now if you look at the power of a that is reducing from 2 to 1 so 2 to 0 and the power of b is increasing from because you know you should be knowing that b to the power 0 is 1 or any number a to the power 0 is also 1 so this is a 1 this is also 1 okay if you want to write this, I, if I want to write this, can I write this as 1 a cube b to the power 0 plus 3 a squared b to the power 1 plus 3 a to the power 1 b squared plus 1 a to the power 0 b to the power 3. Can you see a pattern here? 3, the power of A is decreasing from 3 to 0. 3, 2, 1, 0. And the power of B is increasing from 0 to 1, 0 to 3. Where did this, this 3 come from? This is this power. Okay, where did this 2 come from? I'll scroll up. I got this 2 from this second power. So, using that same principle, I can say, the power of a has to decrease from a to the power 7 to a to the power 0. So it will be a to the power 6, b to the power 1. Okay, let me write 1. Okay, let me, let me start like this. So this is equal to 1. This is 1, this 1. a to the power 7, b to the power 0. Let me scroll down a little. Plus the 7. You can confirm if you want to expand it. It'll be a to the power 6, b to the power 1. I can also, uh, this is how I check. This and this should add to this 7. 7 plus 0 is 7, 6 plus. Plus, the next coefficient will be 21. a to the power, now 5, b to the power 2. 5 plus 7, 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 35 a to the power now 5 7 6 5 it should be 4 b to the power 3 plus again 35 a to the power 3 b to the power 4 plus 21 a to the power 2 b to the power 5 plus 7 
a to the power of 1, b to the power 6, and finally 1, a to the power 0, b to the power 7. So let us simplify this. So this is nothing but a plus b to the power 7. This is nothing but a to the power 7 plus 7, a to the power 6, b to the power 1 plus 21, a to the power 5, b to the power 2, plus 35, a to the power 4, b to the power 3. Okay, let me scroll up. I need more space now. Almost there. We have reached, let me scroll up. So we have come here. Now you got plus 35, a to the power 3, b to the power 4, plus 21, a to the power 2, b to the power 5, plus 7, a, b to the power 6, plus b to the power 7. If you have time, you can expand in the normal way and you will get the same answer. See you in the next